Hey guys, Carolina Gamer here. I'm going to show you how to set up your micro SD card to use it with the X Key 360 that I got from Mod Chips Direct. Uh, this is going to be for the slim console. I've already showed you how to do this in the fat console. So, first thing first, you want to plug in your micro SD card into your computer. It should pop up. When it does, it's got to open folder and view files. You'll notice you have, yours should look like this. If it doesn't, uh, that's fine. Um, we're going to be changing this around anyway. You want to go to uh, where you have the firmware from your drive. Um, and what your drive is determines what you name the file. Um, with the fat consoles, it was firmware.bin. With the slims, you need to rename them dummy dot bin this is for the slims only rename them dummy dot bin and then just drag that over to your SD card it's there now what you want to do is you want to go to the X key site then go to downloads then you want to download the latest firmware they have which right now is 1.05 I already have that here so what I'm going to do is open that I'm going to copy three files, the xkey.config, the uimage, and the rootsfs. I'm going to drag those to the SD card. It's going to ask me if I want to move and replace. Hit yes. After this one copies over, it's going to ask me if I want to move and replace again. I'm going to hit yes. And now I've got these three files in here and the dummy.bin. We're almost ready to go. For me, I don't use the ISO menu. For this video, I'm going to show you using the control box. So you want to open up Notepad. You've got Notepad here. So then you want to drag your xkey.cfg to Notepad. And here's the option that's very easy. It's just a couple lines of text change menu ISO to in and that will just enable you to use the control box and then just hit save and it's ready to go um, your micro SD card is set up you have the dummy bin which is the original firmware that you got from your drive you've got your three files the U image and the roots FS and the xkey.cfg now what you want to do is just close that box and this is very 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 important you want to go to the uh, safely remove hardware option down in the right corner you want to right click it and then hit eject SD card that's very important if you do not do that it can corrupt your SD card and then it will not work with the X key after it says that it's safe to remove go ahead and remove it put it in the X key so I'm going to take you to the X key now and show you how to install that into the actual slim itself. I'll be right back on camera showing you guys that. Hey guys, Carolina Gamer here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install the X key into the 360 slim. I'm going to assume you already know how to take the slim apart. If you don't, this isn't exactly the video for you. We've already got our firmware made on the computer. We have that in the micro SD card slot here. We already got it put in there. Let me pull it out for you. Right there. It's right there. It's already ready. Uh, snap this back into place. Down. Pull back. Um, and uh, again, I got my X key from Mod Chips Direct. Uh, got the cable there for the control box. Um, you can actually use the loader using the video uh, selection um, if you want to, or you can use the little box, whatever suits your fancy. I uh, got the cable for that, the power cable, and the SATA cable, and of course the X key itself and the slim. I'm going to move the camera around to get you a better angle and uh, Okay, right here we back. are, we're at the back of the console. What we want to do now is go ahead and just set this stuff off to the side for a second. And pull the drive out. Disconnect the power. 
and the SATA cable. If you'll notice, I went ahead and installed a fat power cable in here. It just makes it a little easier to get to. And then you want to go ahead and install the SATA to the X key, like that, and the power to the X key, like this right here, right there. Those two are connected. And you can go ahead and then plug up the SATA for the console. We'll go this way right here. Right there. And that will go ahead and twist around the board for you to plug in the power cable from the motherboard of the 360 into the X key. Right there. And then you can bend these this way to make it easier to get to. Like that. So then we will plug up the power cable to the DVD drive, which would go like this. Like that. And then we will plug in the SATA cable, which will go like this. We'll go like this, my bad. Right there. These two are connected here so we're almost done you can go ahead and place the drive almost in position you don't want to go too far because what you want to do is set this underneath there and then slide your drive back and then that way when you get the case on it'll just be like that right there and yeah you gotta put a little pressure here but it's not messing with the board or anything um, just got to push down to get the cables underneath it to set right. Um, and then as always, you want to connect the USB drive uh, cable. And you would run this out of the uh, video port down here. But you got to take the whole motherboard out for this. I'm just tell you that you can do that. Um, then we'll go ahead and plug it up to the... We'll go ahead and plug it up to the control box right there. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll rearrange the camera to get a view of the TV. And then I will uh, show you that we got it working. Okay, guys, I got the console here plugged up. Got the X key connected, you can see here. I want to show you the Gears of War 3 limited edition that I have. Let's go over to the dashboard and you can see that the dashboard is the most current. I'm going to turn up the volume. There we go. It's the most current. So what I'm going to do is go over to open tray. I'm going to open the tray. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit select game gonna be the Gears of War 3 Let's see it right there it says Gears 3 Gears of War 3 0800 V3 right there then we'll go back to the screen Gears of War is on the screen And there you go. That's Gears of War 3 booting with the X key 360 uh, on an Xbox 360 Slim. I got my X key from Mod Chips Direct. You can get yours from them as well. Uh, like I said before, they're really good with their shipping and you know everything that they do. They keep you updated. Um, and it's a nice little product. I've not had any problems with mine whatsoever. It's worked pretty much every time I wanted it to. Uh, when I wanted it to. Not had any issues out of any games not working. But they all pretty much uh, work. I've, like I said, I've not had any issues from any games. Um, so yeah, Carolina Gamer, this has been the X-Key installation into the Slim console. 
Uh, I want to thank uh, Modchips Direct for you know all the email responses they give with uh, the uh, basically once you order, they keep you updated. Like that's what they did with this product. They kept me updated every time something new came out about it. They would email you and. I've not had that with any other retailer, so that's real good for them to do there. Um, and then the support, uh, I had a question about it, and they answered it really quick. Uh, so, yeah, if, go check them out. Uh, I'll post the link down at the bottom. That is my chips Direct. Carolina Gamer, follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to me on YouTube. I'm out.